The answer is no. LinkedIn is not just for boring old corporate people. It's an absolute gold mine if you know how to use it. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three ways to use LinkedIn to get clients fast. Hey, what's up, it's Sean Anthony, and I talk about the best tools, tips, and strategies to level up your business, your skills, and your income. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you go down below right now and hit that subscribe button. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about LinkedIn, why it's such a gold mine, and how to use it, three specific ways to use it to get clients fast for your business. So let's hop into my computer right now. All righty, so on the screen here, I have my LinkedIn profile, and I'm just gonna go and walk through the three main things that you wanna to do to be marketing on LinkedIn and growing your business and getting more clients using the platform, okay? So I'm gonna walk through each of these three things. I'm gonna show you some examples of each. And just keep in mind, there's hundreds of different tips and tactics and strategies and cool little hacks you can do on LinkedIn. These are the three main core things that you wanna do as part of your client acquisition strategy if you wanna use LinkedIn to do that and to get clients and grow your business, okay? So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of different things that I, that I could cover, I might cover in later videos, but pay attention to these main three because this is the main thing that you wanna do as part of your strategy, okay? So number one is you wanna optimize your LinkedIn profile for your ideal client right? And the way you want to think about your profile is a, a lot of people treat it like a resume or like a showcase or a place to just show off, right? Show off about their awards and what they've done. Maybe they've written a book or whatever. Uh, you don't want to do that. You want to treat your LinkedIn profile. If you want to use it to get clients, you want to treat it kind of like a mini sales page or mini landing page, right? And the goal of your LinkedIn profile is to attract and convert your ideal clients. So to do that, you need to optimize your LinkedIn profile to, to do that, to, to get your ideal clients to come to your profile, see what you do and say, oh, that sounds like that guy can help me, right? So let's just take a look at the main, there's three main areas on the profile that you wanna optimize. Number one is just your image, your, your profile image and your cover photo, okay? Don't overcomplicate this. Your profile photo should just be something simple of you like looking professional, smiling, uh, not like you just rolled out of bed or came out of a bar. It should be a clear picture. Don't make sure it's not like pixelated or you can't see your face. Uh, just make sure it's a picture of, the, of you that's clear and looks somewhat professional, okay? Your cover photo is the same thing. For me, I just put a, a, a few photos. You can make this in Canva. Uh, I put a few photos that show me speaking and with other entrepreneurs, like this is Jesse Etzler. He owns the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, and this is Trey Llewellyn, who's big in the e-commerce space. You can use something like this that shows your authority or you can link with a call to action to your website or whatever you want people to do, okay? So just make sure these two areas, it's not like the default, make sure that you optimize it to make you look good and position you as an authority, all right? Now, the second place you wanna optimize is your headline. Most people, what they do here is they just put their job title, right? They might say, oh, I'm a CEO of this company and this is what I do. Uh, well, <laughs> You wanna make sure that when your prospect reads your headline, they can answer the question, what's in it for me, right? And, and does this person help me? So this is for growth response, right? Growth response is our B2B lead generation, our job servicing agency. We provide LinkedIn and cold email lead generation for B2B technology startups, SaaS companies and agencies, right? So I wanna make sure if this is my company and that's who I target, right? B2B startups and agencies, I wanna make sure that my, my headline on LinkedIn speaks to that. Right, so it's the same exact thing here. Helping startups, helping the niche, whoever your niche is, and agencies to get result, what's the result? Get more sales meetings with their ideal customers, right? And then you can even, I, I couldn't fit everything in here, so I just put, you know, found our growth response, done for you outbound prospecting, some keywords, SaaS lead generation, LinkedIn marketing, cold email copy, sales funnels, okay? So you can put some Keywords in here, a little hack, I don't know if this still works, but if you edit on your phone, if you download the LinkedIn mobile app and you edit on your phone, you edit this headline, I think they let you add a bit more characters, right? I don't think I could add this on the desktop version. I think it's a little trick if it still works. If it doesn't, oh well, you're too late. But try it out, try downloading the mobile app and seeing if, if you can add more keywords into your headline here, right? But the lesson here is make sure that you can answer who do you help, how do you help them and what result do you get, right? So helping startups and agencies get sales meetings with their ideal customers. That's what I do. And then I link to growth response, which is the actual company that I'm talking about, right? So that's area number two. Now area number one, your photo, your cover photo. Area number two is your headline. Area number three that you wanna optimize is your about or your summary section, 
okay? And this is where people go so wrong. Like they'll just put like, for example, they'll speak about themselves in third person. So they might say something like, Sean has won, won three awards, he started five companies, he's made like $10 million. Sean has a, is a TEDx speaker, he has this book and that book, and he's done this. He's such a badass, right? Like just talking about themselves in third person, which first of all is just, it's kind of strange, it's kind of creepy, right? Who actually talks about themselves in third person. And second of all, you look like a narcissist when you do that. So make sure that your, your profile summary talks about your prospect and how you can help them, right? Again, if you wanna use it to get more clients and grow your business, right? So let's take a look at my example. I'm not gonna read through all of this, but let's take a look at what I'm doing here, right? So the very first line, I don't say anything about me or like my background or anything. I talk exactly to the value proposition, right? We help technology startups and digital agencies fill their pipeline with high value leads that turn into customers. You get an expert team dedicated to prospecting and customer acquisition for half the cost of an in-house team. Now, by reading that very first sentence, you know exactly who I help, exactly the result I get, and how, like why it's relevant to them, right? So half the cost of an in-house team, right? These SaaS companies, these SaaS founders, they're so used to hiring like three to four sales reps at like four to $5,000 a month each, and they still have to train them and buy them tools and all that stuff, right? So we'll cut that cost in more than half, and we'll get, we have a proven system that already works, and we can get them exactly what they want, which is more customers, right? So the, the first sentence should be a value proposition about you and what you do and how you help that market, right? Then I kind of dive deep into the problems and pain points. So you're gonna have to do some research into this, right? It's not gonna be the same thing. You wanna make sure that you're speaking in the language of your niche. So for our niche, for B2B technology companies, when we were talking to founders, they're always like, oh, I don't know where my next deal's coming from. Like, we don't know which source is coming from. We don't know if it's from a webinar or LinkedIn or cold email or Facebook advertising. We don't know where our next deal is gonna come from and we don't have a predictable system, right? So we tie that into the pain points here, right? Is your team wasting hours of valuable selling time on researching? Uh, and instead of closing deals. Do you wish you had a proven system, right? So these are specific pain points that come up when we talk to our market, right? Then you can read this. Uh, you can, I'm not gonna read all this, but it, it talks a little bit about our background, why we created this service, uh, what problem does it solve, and we even kind of qualify people here, right? So we say, hold up, must be able to afford at least $1,000 a month, and this filters out people from booking a call with us if they're just like tire kickers and just information seekers, right, that aren't actually gonna become clients. So take a look at the profile summary, summary here. Again, it should speak directly to your ideal client and your ideal prospect and talk about how you can help them solve a problem that they wanna solve, right? In this case, it's, it's lead generation and getting more getting more customers for their SaaS business, right? They should not be talking about yourself in third person or your awards or anything like that. Nobody cares, right? So that's the number one area is, is optimizing your profile. We talked about your, your profile photo, your cover photo, your headline, and also your profile summary, right? So that's number one, optimize your profile for your ideal client. Now, number two, is you wanna connect and engage with your ideal clients, right? So you can use Sales Navigator. I'll actually set up a separate video doing a tutorial of Sales Navigator and how we use it in depth. But let's just say that we're gonna use, again, B2B SaaS founders because that's who we target for, for growth response. If I want to find SaaS founders, all I gotta do here is type in, um, let's see, founder. Okay, and I'll show you some examples of messages that we've sent. I'll go to all filters here and I can go to computer software. I can go to, let's say, if I wanna find people in my city of Seattle, I'll do that. I can type in their title here, I might do founder, right? And then what I can do is click apply. Now, what does this do? It gives me a list of 2,509 founders in Seattle of software companies. And with Sales Navigator, you can get even more granular with like the size of the companies, like how many employees they have, uh, more specific industries, more specific titles and seniority levels. But I'm just showing you a quick example here. And this shows me 2000 plus founders, people who fit my ideal client profile. So what do I wanna do? I wanna connect with these people. Let's just say Dan here, I might connect with him. I'll send him a connection request. Hey Dan, saw you're a founder in the Seattle area of a SaaS company, would love to connect and share insights with you. Something super simple like that, right? Once they connect, you can send them a message and just see if they're interested in having a quick conversation with you 
to learn more about what you do as what you deliver as your service, right? And how you can help them and provide value to their lives, right? So let's take a look at an example here, right? So one of our clients here is Lynn. I know she is in here. She's one of my favorite clients because they have an awesome SaaS product. Oh my gosh. If I can get this typed out. And then you can see here when we first started talking. So you can see here, here's the connection message, right? So I connected with her, I engaged with her, I enjoy connecting with founders who I share mutual connections with. Love the opportunity to connect and share insights. Thanks for sharing, thanks for connecting with me on LinkedIn, promise to keep this value and interesting, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then I go into a little mini pitch, right? Are you interested in using LinkedIn to generate 10 to 20 high value sales appointments a month at Condotti. If not, or are you currently using that? If not, I created this free guide detailing how to do that, right? So I'm, I'm providing her value, I'm giving her value. So I had this little article here on LinkedIn tactics and I sent it over her way and this is what she said. Would like to chat more on your approach. Let me know when's a good time this week or next. So then we hopped on a phone, we set up a time to chat, we hopped on the phone. She became a client of ours. She's been a client of ours for over a year now and she's onboarded you know, multiple people within our company onto our service, right? So L LinkedIn outreach, it works. You know, you have to just make sure you're connecting with the right people, with your ideal client. You're providing value up front. You're showing them that you care about them and, and that you can help them get a result that they actually want. And that's what we've done here. And th this is exactly what we do for our service, right? Our LinkedIn service, what we're doing is we're connecting with people, we optimize your profile, and then we start connecting with people and engaging with them to get you more appointments so that you can get more customers, more clients, right? So that's number two, is connecting and engaging with your ideal clients and trying to get them you know, interested in what you have to offer, yeah? So number three, the third way to grow your business and get more clients with LinkedIn is content, right? Content. And what you wanna do here, there's two types of content. This is the way that I break it down. Type one content is content that shows who you are as a person, right? So talk, you're gonna be telling stories about yourself, your business, your personal life things that happen, things that are, are good, things that are bad. It shows people that you're human and who you are as a person. I mean, of course you're human, but it shows your personality a bit, right? So you can look at my posts on here. I'm not gonna go through all of them here because I have, I've made a lot of posts, but that's type one content is showing who you are as a person and letting people know that you're human. You're not just some robot on LinkedIn trying to just spam and get business all the time, right? Number two is what I call type two content, real original, right? But it's content that positions you as the authority. So it, t it answers the question, why should I work with you to solve X problem? So someone might say, why should I work with you to help me generate more leads on LinkedIn. So I actually provide a lot of content here on LinkedIn for free through my, my status updates, right? You can see these get engaged with a lot. 50 likes, 12 comments, uh, 54 and 19 comments. I have 17,000 views on this, 147 likes and 49 comments. So this gets people interested in what you have to offer and they'll see your posts, they'll reach out to you through your messaging here and they'll wanna set up a time with you to chat, right? So content is a very powerful way if you combine it with an outreach strategy, right? So if you optimize your profile, number one, you optimize it for your ideal client. Number two, you connect and engage with your ideal clients, your ideal prospects, and you grow your network on LinkedIn, right? You start connecting with people, they get accepted into your network, you send them a message, seeing if you can help them or provide value, uh, that's connect and engage. And then number three, you're constantly putting content out there, maybe one or two times a week even, and you're constantly putting content and value out there, and you're helping your market out through your content, you're going to get clients. People are gonna reach out to you, they're gonna to wanna to work with you because you're, prov you're putting goodwill and value out into the market, right? So those are the three things, number one, optimize your profile for your ideal client, right? Your, your, your profile photo, your cover photo, your headline, and your profile summary. These should all be geared towards your ideal prospect, your ideal client. It, should be, it shouldn't be talking or bragging about yourself, okay? Number two is a connect and engage. So you wanna connect with your ideal client and you wanna provide some value. Maybe you found an article that's useful to them that's relevant to your service that you provide. And also, number three is to post content, right? Type one and type two content. Person, personality content and authority content, right? You wanna get people interested in what you have to offer and stay top of mind so that when they are ready to move forward with LinkedIn lead generation or whatever you provide, you are gonna be the first person they think about, okay? 
So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you guys like this, uh, like this video, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you wanna see next. Let me know if you want to, if you have any questions around what I covered here today. I'll be doing a lot more videos on LinkedIn and using it to grow your business. But I hope this is helpful for you guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.